Right here tonight at 6, you know, the police departments of the past were known as mostly a man's field. But Carol Hickman broke the mold right here in the Jefferson County area for the Jefferson County Police Department. She was not only the first woman, but the first African-American officer to lead a county police district. WHS 11's Shirlene Shanklin is talking to her about her career and the cases she won't forget. I just wanted to make a difference. Carol Hickman spent the majority of her adult life serving others in law enforcement. Starting in the late 1960s, her persistence, dedication, and thick skin helped her work her way through the ranks and the respect of the community. Well, I originally started out as a clerk typist. Uh, the police department didn't have any women. And then in 1972, I went to school and became an officer. She climbed the ranks from sergeant, lieutenant, to captain even though she was told. Carol, I know you're a self-motivator. He said, but these men will never follow a woman. He said, I just want you to know that. And I, I thanked him. And ironically, the chief, he retired, then he came back as interim chief. When he come back, he was the person I made major. Hickman talked about how difficult it was in a predominantly male profession. I can't say that it was so much being a woman of color as it was a being a woman. We would go out on cases and the people would ask us to go to the back door. But when the white officers came, they were allowed to go to the front door. That kind of, I didn't particularly like it, but it was a job to do and I did it. Uh, until one day I just said I had had it. Officers had one case that they will never forget. Hickman played a role in several big cases from the Cornbread Mafia to Danny Tetri. I guess my very first one was uh, the Valley Drive-Ins. I was working in missing persons. And of course we got the reports on the soldier and the young lady that was missing from the uh, ticket booth at the Valley Drive-In. They were getting leads, but it was pushing them to a possible second case. And the person that had adopted the first people had also adopted this young lady. Well, I got the young lady back. For moments that matter, I'm Shirlene Shanklin for WHAS 11 News on your side. Hickman is a mother of one son and her late husband, Charles Hickman, who was a member of the Louisville Police Department. As for the 1974 Danny Tetra case, he's still serving a life sentence at the Kentucky State Penitentiary.